On January 7, 2021, what many had expected for years happened, and that was that the brightest entrepreneur of all times also became the richest person in the world. Even though at the present time Jeff Bezos recovered the first position by only $3.2 billion, come on, 3.2 bills, is that what I tip the waiter after I drink a coffee? We will probably won't have to wait a lot to see him leading that list again. But why? Which are the qualities, habits, lessons that have allowed Elon Musk to become the second wealthiest man and richest Martian? In this video, we're going to see in detail what makes Elon Musk such a unique person. Hi, this is Alejandro and welcome to the best moment in history. And right now you could help me make this video go fast if you liked it, right? No. Many thanks. You rock. Imagine for a moment that you had an online banking company and that after founding it, three years of hard work, then merging with your rival, that on your honeymoon, the board of directors takes the opportunity to relegate you from your position as CEO and after thousands of internal problems, you manage to sell this company to a technology giant for $1.5 billion of which you pocket $165 million. Imagine also that your entire startup meets in Las Vegas to celebrate this sale. What would you be doing at that precise moment? Well, that's not exactly what good old Elon did. We were all hanging out in this cabin at the Hard Rock Cafe and Elon is there reading a dark Soviet rocket manual that was moldy that looks to me like he bought it on eBay, said Kevin Hartz an early PayPal investor. And this is exactly the first quality of Elon Musk. He is a relentless reader. When Elon Musk was a child, he read 10 hours a day and on weekends he could perfectly read two weeks in a single day. And when the whole family was on vacation and Elon disappeared, his mother had nothing to do but go to the nearest bookstore and find Elon sitting in a corner reading abstracted from the wall. Well, this sick reading of Elon that made him even divorce the entire Britannic Encyclopedia when there were no more books left is what allowed him to have the second quality that is first principles. Elon Musk, with his physics studies, has a very clear mind about the known physical laws that govern our universe. To, to make life multiplanetary is a, a fully and rapidly reusable orbit class rocket. Um, this is a very difficult thing to do because we, we, we live on a planet where it, that is just barely possible. Uh, if gravity were a little lower, it would be easy. If it was a little higher, it would be impossible. Th this has been attempted many times in the past and, and generally what's happened is when people have concluded that success was not one of the possible outcomes, then the, the project's been abandoned. Now, we, we, we could fail. Uh, I'm not saying we, we are certain of success here, uh, but, but we're going to try to do it. These statements by Elon Musk were followed by a serial of these small failures in which it was clear that SpaceX intent was little more than utopian. For ordinary mortals, anything that happens in space seems just as complicated. But it's not like that. The technology SpaceX currently owns by reusing the first phase of its rockets is one of the greatest achievements in aerospace history. To understand its complexity, who better to explain it to us than him? Tim Urban created the Wait But Why blog in 2013 and explained technology and science in such a brilliant, simple and amusing way that Elon Musk himself asked him to do a series of posts about his companies. The following explanation is one of the best analogies I've ever heard. Pay close attention to it. Right. I tried to figure out how hard this really Big is, board. and so I kind of I crunched the numbers with the size of the rocket <laughs> and the size and how high it's going. Yeah. What's happening with the first stage is it's like launching a pencil over the Empire State Building, <laughs> having it reverse, come back down, and land on a shoebox on the ground in a windstorm. That's, that's what's happening. the critical part. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could throw a pencil over the Empire State it's Building and catch a bunch of to do. And the crazy thing is, we're like 
30 seconds away from this from this yeah. crazy maneuver, yeah. this extreme that same day on december 21st 2015 spacex after multitude of failures and against all odds and with the great experts saying it was impossible managed to make history by recovering the first stage of their falcon 9 rocket a feat so amazingly difficult that had not been achieved by any country with unlimited budgets before and even more surprisingly nearly six years later in 2021 it still has not been achieved by any type of public or private entity but Elon's first principles apply to everything not only to challenges of engineering but also to communication in which any worker regardless of rank can write to anyone in the company including and above all to Elon Musk even if she is an intern to the incentive system that is made to reward innovation and penalize not failure but lack of innovation to meetings with the policy that must be kept to the bare minimum but when they occur if a person feels that she's not contributing anything in this meeting it is not rude to leave but it's her duty to do so and thus continue working and of course to hierarchies that are not based on a brilliant resume and even less on a degree look at autonomy day how elon makes it very clear why andre carpathy is tesla's head of artificial intelligence Andre has a PhD from Stanford University, uh, where he studied computer science, uh, focusing on uh, vision recognition and deep learning. Uh, Andre, why don't you just talk? Do your yeah. own intro. Exactly. There's a lot of PhDs from <laughs> Stanford. That's not important. Yes. Okay. We don't care. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Andre started the computer vision class at Stanford. That's much more s significant. That's what matters. <laughs> yeah. And if recognizing a person by degrees alone is inconsequential to Elon Musk, there is a worse word for him. Impossible. When an employee tells him that it's impossible to get a certain price or it's impossible to arrive on time, Elon Musk usually says, OK, now I will be the CEO of your project. And he takes personally the work that that engineer would have to do and according to Brogan Van Brogan, one of first SpaceX employees, what's crazy is that Elon Musk really does it. Every time he has fired someone and takes his job, he delivers in whatever the project was about. And Elon Musk is able to achieve this thanks to his third quality, that is a fighter with a strict sense of justice. When Elon was a child, he was beaten up at school so badly that he ended up in the hospital. From that day on, he decided that he would never again allow himself to be intimidated by any bully, but not only physically, but also in business. In 2004, SpaceX was a baby company that hadn't even managed to successfully launch a rocket into orbit. It was very clear that the survival of this company would depend largely on future contracts with one single entity, NASA. When NASA handpicked the aerospace company Kisler Aerospace that year, Elon Musk was furious. He did not understand how they had not allowed SpaceX or any other company to bid and not only saw it as unfair, but also illegal. When Elon Musk threatened several NASA officers at their own headquarters, they replied that if he sued them, there would be no future contracts for SpaceX, which obviously could be devastating, since the future of SpaceX practically depended on this agency. Everyone told me that you don't sue NASA. I was told the odds of winning a lawsuit are less than 10% and you don't sue your potential future customer. I was like, look, this is messed up. This should have been a competed contract and it wasn't. Everyone around him told him that it was crazy because there would be future contracts. What do you think Elon Musk decided? He didn't even blink. He did what no one had ever dared in NASA's history and sued them. 
the United States Government Accountability Office forced NASA to withdraw the contract. SpaceX won the protest. It is the same ability to fight and search justice that led Elon Musk on May 11, 2020 to restart Tesla's production against the rules of Alameda County when the Fremont factory is located. Both the federal and national government agree with the opening of the factories and also Elon had reopened the Shanghai factory during the pandemic without any problem taking all the necessary sanitary measures. Tesla is restarting production today against Alameda County rules. I will be on the line with everyone else. If anyone is arrested, I ask that it only be me. In other words, we're talking about a man who does not blink in losing his only future contractor or being arrested just for doing what he thinks is fair. It is this determination that has led mass critics like astrophysicist Neil deGrasse from saying this. I don't see SpaceX as being like the private company that's going to take us to Mars. I just don't see that happening. To just a few years later, say this. That's where Elon Musk is. Those are the kind of people who transform not only society and the apps that are on your computer, he will transform civilization as we know it. And these impossible goals are the essence of Elon Musk's fourth quality. Dreamer. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. And it is therefore this importance that he talks about that allows him to fight and enamor his employees and clients to achieve goals that have a global and historical scale, always with the mission of achieving a better future for the human species. Compare, for example, Amazon's mission on we aim to be Earth's most customer-centric company. Our mission is to continually raise the bar of the customer experience by using the internet and technology to help consumers find, discover, and buy anything and empower businesses and content creators to maximize their success. That is, we sell you anything. With those of Tesla, Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Or SpaceX. Make humanity multiplanetary. And this way of dreaming comes to him again from his childhood reading habit when he devoured all the books from Isaac Asimov and other science fiction writers. But dreams, my dear friend, are just dreams. We have seen that with this way of streaming and with his knowledge, he can recruit the best talent. But there are many companies with talent and ambitious missions. What else does Elon Musk have that sets him apart from the rest? Well, here we arrive to the fifth and last quality, which is speed. Three. So this whole program from the hiring of the first few employees to having it in full production in all three of our cars is just a little over three years and is probably the fastest uh, system development program I've ever been associated with. And it really speaks a lot to the advantages of having a tremendous amount of vertical integration um, to allow you to do concurrent engineering and speed up deployment. This exact speed of execution, along with goals that make everyone dream, a great sense of justice, thinking with first principle and an avid reader that allows him to have a humongous knowledge, make Elon Musk the richest man in the world, or at least of Mars. Hi, this is Alejandro, and welcome to the best moment in history. Of course, in this summary, I have left other qualities, such as his paradoxical little interest in money, the way in which he absorbs and learns from the brightest minds that surround him, the fact that he's the opposite of a traditional business executive, always in his great conference room, but he goes out and gets his hands dirty, makes manual labor, and even sleeps in his factories when the things are going tough, and probably many others. 
If you had to choose one quality, one single quality that has made Elon Musk get where he is, which one would it be? You live in the best moment in history. Enjoy! If you have enjoyed this type of content, subscribe to this channel so you won't miss videos like this one. And I recommend you to watch this other video that I made just for you. Thank you very much from the heart.